Do you have to wait for public transit during your commute? Wait, 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 hang on. Let me rephrase that. How long do you have to wait for your public transit during your commute? No matter if it's a one minute wait or a 30 minute wait, you have to wait for it at a bus stop. Yeah, of course. So let's talk about bus stops today. Bus stops help connect riders between their homes and their bus route. It is the pickup and drop off point that they can transport themselves to their final or origin destinations. A commuter using public transit begins their trip by walking from their home to the stop, waiting to be picked up, hopping on the bus and enjoying the struggle of people driving, and getting off and walking to their final destination. Since people are impatient, waiting is the most disliked part of every trip. Therefore, the waiting environment can alter the decision for commuters to use public transit or not. Take a look at these two bus stops. Do you want to wait for the bus here at all? No, right? They're both inconvenient, inaccessible, unsafe, and unwelcoming due to the lack of sidewalks and infrastructures that facilitate a more comfortable waiting area. There have been proven correlations between waiting time and overall satisfaction. Bus riders hate having to wait for too long as it gives them a panicked feeling that they will miss their connecting transit if they have to transfer and eventually be late for work, school, their appointments, or planned activities. They also hate having to wait for the bus in extreme environments such as hot or freezing temperatures or heavy rain. There are four factors for the waiting environment that make riders use transit more often than not. Convenience, accessibility, safety, and comfort. The amenities provided at the bus stops are really, really important. It can help reduce the perceived waiting time, aka how long does it feel to wait. At a naked bus stop, aka one with only a sign and nothing else, a 10 minute wait feels like a 20 minute wait, while a bench alone can reduce the perceived wait time to 13 minutes. This perceived wait time is longer for some people in some other conditions, such as when a commuter travels alone at late night in the middle of a snowstorm or heavy rain. Sadly, these amenities are usually forgotten. Bus shelters are usually not maintained, cleaned, and sanitized. Many lack decent lighting quality or even benches, let alone fancier features like heat or posted schedule. The accessibility to bus stops is usually terrible in the winter time when commuters have to walk on uncleared sidewalks filled with snow and ice. Their speed is significantly reduced because they have to be extra cautious and they risk the chance of missing their bus if they cannot reach the stops on time. At many bus stops, the lack of decent lighting quality is a huge problem for late night or early morning commuters when they do not feel safe at all waiting for or getting off the bus due to the perceived fear of being attacked in an area that is dark and empty enough that no one knows. Bus stop design is important since it is associated with a part of the rider's journey. When the four factors mentioned above are not met to a satisfactory level, a person will choose not to commute by public transit. In order to have more people riding the bus, improving the transit quality with better frequency or speed is not enough. The waiting environment must be improved for better convenience and comfort. The sidewalks connecting the buildings to the bus stops must be clear and safe to improve safety and accessibility. When these infrastructures are improved, more riders will feel the bus stops are more convenient and accessible. With an increase in ridership at a stop, the safety level is also increased since the community capital is thriving. Taking better care of bus stops is also encouraging ridership and alternatives to driving, reducing the frustration and panic of existing riders which helps improve public health and productivity since their mindset is not covered with negative feelings. Always remember, access to public transportation is the single factor deciding one's ability to escape poverty. You may ask, how can bus stops be improved? Well, that's the topic of the next video. See you then if you still want to know.